Okay. We got New England's being accused of deflating their balls uh, for an advantage. So let's see some just some basic science and see what's going on. Here we have an NFL official size football. I've already went ahead and pumped it up. I have some testing equipment here. We're going to check. We got... Fifteen. Fifteen. And just to kind of give you a demonstration here, how hard you would have, it would be very hard to just bleed an exact amount off. I'm barely letting some pressure out and it's taking a long time. If I let a lot out, it don't take long to take a whole lot out of the ball. Okay, now. So, what is the NFL's rules? The NFL's rule is the, the spec or limit is supposed to be 12 and a half PSI to 13 and a half. Uh, they spec the, the balls before the game, about a couple hours to two and a half hours before the game. So, I'm going to go out and recharge this to the, I'll put it right there in the middle of the, the NFL spec. Actually, I'm going to put it at the very limit, the minimum of 12 and a half, and then we'll weigh it and, uh, and we'll check it. So, be back in just a minute. Okay, one more thing I want to say is, you know, the league is saying they're testing the balls. Well, you can only pull the needle in and out so many times. Every time um, you pull it out, it releases a small amount of pressure. So if you test it, if it loses a quarter PSI every time and you test it four times, well, that's one pound. So the league really only can test it basically one time without altering the pressure. And the amount and length and time that you rip the needle out shortens or extends the amount of pressure. So here we have the gauge at, just to kind of show this, what, 10 and a half? So I'm gonna pull it out real quick and see what it drops. Okay, I heard a little pss when I pulled it out. Let's see what it, let's see what the gauge dropped to. Or, okay, and I gotta put it back in, sorry. So was that 10 and a half? What did it drive down to? Oh, well, it's about 10 and a quarter. So there you go. So in just one pull of the needle, we lost a quarter PSI. So I just need to mention that up front. All right, now I'm going to go fill it back up, and then we'll test it again. Okay, we're back. As you can see, I refilled it. Um, I'll put it right at about 13. Twelve and a half, thirteen, 13. And show them the temperature, honey. We're inside our home. So you can see. Yeah, it's about 74 degrees. We're going to go ahead and weigh the ball. Um, well, here's our scale here. We're going to weigh it. We'll put it on. we got to put this thing on and the ball roll off. So just remember it's 10.1 10 grams. I'm going to go ahead and pull the, the needle out because that's going to skew our thing if that's dragging off. So here, honey, pull the – come back here and you can barely just okay. – You can easily see the ball weight. 413 grams minus the 10, but it'll be on there for both things. So that's what the ball weighs at 13 PSI. So let's take out a pound and uh, re, re, we measure it and weigh it. I went ahead and took out, the league said some of the balls were 10 and a half PSI. So there you go, right there, 10 and a half pounds. Let's see how much the weight is. I'm gonna rip this out real quick. And we're gonna weigh this on the scale again. One gram, not even, point, but well, yeah, roughly one gram. So after we took out three pounds, two and a half pounds of air, we lost one gram of weight. Okay. Okay, so how much is one gram? Ooh. Too many paper clips, like the smallest paper clips they make. So if you're curious to know how much is one gram, that's the weight difference. Two small paper clips. Cut it to the league men, 12 and a half pounds. Twelve and a half PSI. Sorry, there it is. Twelve and a half PSI. Let me show them the date and time. Okay. There's the date. Here's the t temperature. 33 degrees, and it's 8.50 p.m. 
I'm going to let this sit outside. I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to take the thermometer and the ball. I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to let the ball sit. And we're going to see if the pressure uh, depreciates over the next three hours, which was roughly uh, the length of a football game. And if I remember correctly, game time temperatures in New England was 25. So it was actually a few degrees colder, almost 10, and it was raining. Obviously, barometric pressure is going to be different for that. So let's take it outside. We'll take this, and then the dog can go out too. We'll set it out here, and we'll come back in three hours, and we'll see. We'll, we'll measure the pressure and see if it drops a, a, out of that spec at all. Same date. It's been about three hours. 45. All right, let's go outside and see if the pressure in our ball drop. Well, let's show the temperature there. Some more. All right. Mm, I can feel it. It feels like it's less. Let's see if my feel matches my, my gauge here. Huh. Well, look at that. The temperature of the ball has tanked six and a half pounds. It literally depreciated by half in three hours in the temperature. You idiots. <laughs> Try some physics before you make uh, wild allegations. I don't even have anything else to say. I'm a little shocked. I thought I might lose a pound or two, but my goodness. The, 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 I, I could feel it as soon as I picked up the ball. I could I could feel yeah. the the competi the uh, the air pressure difference. I don't know if we leave it inside if it'll go back up. M maybe it would or wouldn't. I don't think it matters. But uh, it's pretty good proof that uh, just sitting outside. Okay, and, and final conclusion. I just want to wrap up. The whole thing seems pretty insane with all the cameras and high def and people you would have to have some persons or teams getting each ball with a hand pump and a bleeder and a gauge and taking out exactly two pounds and they got to do it to all 11 balls and I'm sure the NFL is looking at you know, video everywhere to find some culprit. This just sounds like a farce and a made up thing. I, I, I cannot see anywhere where this could be a scandal. It, it's made up. I don't know. I just, I'm not buying it. it and again, I, I can't see how it changed the game to begin with. Um, but that's kind of my thoughts. On, on the whole issue. I, I'm, I'm really shocked by the testing. I, I really am. I thought I might lose a pound or two. I didn't think it was going to go like that. So um, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. You can base your own decisions on my testing.